Hey everybody, it's Ellen, your licensed technician at Nova Cat Clinic, except today I'm coming to you from my home simply because work's telephone will not stop ringing and I don't have a quiet moment to do my video blog. But I do finally have the results of Stanley's knee crotchy to share with you. And they're actually pretty disappointing. Um, I thought we were going to find something really odd and peculiar and, you know, something with, you know, all of our little neonates, what could we do better? And instead, Despite all of the fecal samples we have sent out, and despite the multiple dewormings we did for these kittens, he apparently had a severe parasitic overload. Um, he unfortunately had two strains of coccidia, and he also had an adult nematode in his system, which, you know, was potentially just roundworms. And those can actually cause lung damage uh, when the Roundworm is in the immature stage, the larval stage. It actually can cross the lung field and um, cause significant amount of damage. And when you're dealing with a neonate that has a really poor immune system to start with, um, of course, the body has a hard time fighting off just about anything. So unfortunately, despite all of our preventative measures, he still died of a parasitic overload. And that also raises a bunch of questions, you know. What did we do wrong? What could we do better? Are we dealing suddenly with this super bug and everything's now suddenly becoming very, you know, resistant to all the drugs out there? And most likely not. Um, and most likely what it is is we had a really, really sick kitten to begin with. And despite the multiple dewormings and fecal samples that were sent out, we were catching things between their life cycle. And this poor little guy's own immune system couldn't even do a job that it was supposed to, um, along with the dewormers. So that stresses the importance when we say, please bring in a stool sample on your cat. Um, this is one of the reasons why, because even though they can show signs of being negative, they can still be positive, especially in kittens. So we do recommend when you come in for your kitten's vaccines uh, every few weeks until they're their immune system is going to be current with them, uh, bring in a stool sample because you never know what part of the life cycle of the parasite you're going to get, whether or not you're only going to catch, you know, either the eggs or sometimes you'll catch some adults in the sample as well. Um, and also that your cats should be dewormed on a yearly basis if they are adults and indoors only. If they are outdoor cats, ideally they should be dewormed once a month, such with revolution, you keep them on a preventative. Uh, and kittens, you know, very, very frequently. You want them to make sure that they are negative in the end. So if you have any questions in regards to parasitic control, fecal samples, um, when your cat should be dewormed, what products are safe, what products do we use, by all means, do not hesitate to contact the clinic. And hopefully, um, you know, we have learned a lot from this little guy. Uh, so we're going to be stepping up all of the preventative measures for these little shelter kittens that we do get uh, to make sure that we don't run into this problem again. And if you have any questions, don't forget, you can always ask me some questions in the comments and I can try them at the, you know, to answer them at the best of my ability, uh, especially if you're concerned about a product or, you know, just parasite control in general. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.